So this problem says, suppose that sine of theta is equal to negative 7 over 25, and theta is between pi and 3 pi over 2. Find the exact values for cosine of theta and cotan of theta. So the way I would start this problem is to first draw a little coordinate axis. We know that our theta is between pi. If this is 0, this is pi over 2. Here's pi, and here's 3 pi over 2. We know that our theta is between pi and 3 pi over 2, so our terminal arm is going to be in quadrant 3. What I like to do is to drop that terminal arm down to the nearest x-axis to create my reference angle, because this full angle here is all theta, but my reference angle of theta would be right here. So now if this is my reference angle, my sine sine of theta is equal to negative 7 over 25. Sine is also opposite over hypotenuse. So we know that the opposite side is 7, the hypotenuse is 25, and the hypotenuse is always positive, so the negative one would have to be the opposite side, which also makes sense because going down for the y is a negative value. So here we have two of our sides of our, tri of our triangle for the reference angle. We're now looking for cosine of theta. And we know that cosine of theta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So far we know that the hypotenuse is 25, but we need to figure out what the adjacent side is. We can find the adjacent side using the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where the c is the hypotenuse. So this would be negative 7 squared plus b squared is equal to 25 squared. 7 squared is 49 plus b squared is equal to 25 squared is one moment, um, 625. So this would be 625 on this side. We would subtract 49 on both sides to get that b squared is equal to 576. And then square root both sides to get, one moment, the square root of 576 is 24. So we get that b is equal to, since we took the square root of both sides, it could technically be plus or minus 24. So we know that this side is 24. Since it's going to the left, it would be a negative 24. So the cosine, the adjacent side is negative 24. So we plug in negative 24 for the adjacent and that makes our fraction, that cosine of theta, is equal to negative 24 over 25. Let me draw that negative a little bigger. There we go. Okay, so that's our sine and our cosine. The last thing we want to find is cotan of theta. So cotan, one definition of cotan is cosine of theta over sine of theta. That's one way to write it. Um, and so we could plug in the cosine for the numerator, the negative 24 over 25 over the sine, which is the negative 7 over 25. And when we're evaluating a fraction divided by another fraction, we flip the bottom fraction and multiply. So that would make negative 24 over 25 times negative 25 over 7. So if we multiply these two numbers together, the negative times the negative makes a positive. The 25 on top and bottom would cancel out, and that would leave us with 24 over 7. And 24 isn't divisible by 7, so that would be our final answer for cotan. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Any questions regarding this problem or another homework problem that you might want to see a video, and I can do my best to get to it.